Daniel chapter 6, we will start with verse 16. Verse 16 says, Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into where? The den of lions. The dens of lions. Now the king speak and said unto Daniel, Thou God whom thou dost what? Servest continually. Thou God whom thou serve continually, what will he do? He will deliver thee. He will deliver thee. Yes. Yes. Your God that you serve continually. Not part time. All right. All right. All right. All right. Not, not serving him when you want to serve him. Hallelujah. Not taking the time out from serving him. Okay. Not going on vacation. Well, all right. But this God that you do so serve continuously. He will what? Deliver thee. Somebody said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The seventeenth verse said, and as what? A stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signal. And with the signal of his laws that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Hello? So, this is the same king that said Daniel for circumstances beyond my control I have given the commandment the command that you should be placed in the lion's den. But Daniel said, although you are going in the lion den, I believe this God that you serve continuously yes, right. will deliver you. Yes, whether, whether it is by my command that you are going in that lion dance, hello, whether it is by the command of your enemies that you're going in that lion dance, Hello. What is by any kind of circumstances or circumstances that causing you to go in that lion dance? Yes, yes. I know that God that you said continually will deliver you. Hallelujah. Say neighbor, he will deliver you. Ah, because you are serving him continually. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. And they place him in the lion den. Yes, say that, say that. And they seal it. And make sure that this seal will not be broken. All right. Hello? Amen. Let's turn to Matthew 28, <coughs> chapter, and the second verse. If you haven't seen him, man. My few 28, verse 2 say, And behold, there was a great earthquake. Is that right? Yeah. For the angels of the Lord descended from heaven and came, and when he came and did what? Rolled back. He rolled by what? The stone. He rolled by the stone. The angels of the Lord came, descended from heaven, yes. and came and rolled by the stone from the door. Yes. Is that right? That's right. And sat upon it. Right. Said, neighbor, right. the stone right. has been rolled by. Right. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Right. Say, neighbor, Stone have been rolled by. Who oh, the Lord talking to this morning? Hallelujah. The stone have been rolled by. Somebody shout, say, Hallelujah. The stone has been rolled by. The stone that the enemies 
may her seal are your entrance. Yeah. Your entrance to freedom. Yes, yes. To yes. keep you in. Mm. Because every one of us here, maybe you don't know, maybe you, you, you never realize it. Or maybe you you never you had never reached to the age or to the place to experience this. Every man and and every woman that is born into this world at one time or the other has or will experience the lion dance. Ah, you don't get it. Is that right? Every one of us here, the adults that are in this place have some form of the other experience, the lion dance. There is a lion dance experience that is laid up for every child of God, for every man of God, for every woman of God, or for every individual that is living here on this planet Earth. So true, so true. Yeah. Somebody say praise the, praise the Lord. So if you have never experienced yours, then just keep on living. Your time is coming. Yeah. Hello? It is not of your desire to personally walk in the lion dance. Because you know the lion is a predator. Is that right? Even if they put the lion in a, in a cage and they tell you that he has been domesticated. <laughs> Somebody said, praise the Lord. Is that right? <laughs> Is that right? Okay. They put a lion in the cage and they tell you that he has been tamed. He has been domesticated. He can touch him. <laughs> I don't think you're going to just walk in that cage. Hallelujah. Because you know he's a predator. He is a, he, 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 he is a, he is a, he is a wild animal. He is what he is. Even his appearance alone put chills. Right. <laughs> is that right? Even his appearance alone put chills in your body or in your mind. So you will not personally walk in a lion den. No matter how cute you think you are, the lion don't know about your beauty. <laughs> Is that right? No, that lion don't know, that don't care about your looks. All he wants to know you're looking for a hot meal. Somebody said, praise the Lord. So, 100% of the time, when one is experiencing the lion dance, 100% of the time, You've been placed there by challenge. You've been placed in the lion den. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. You've been placed in the lion den, my goodness, by circumstance yes, that you may be facing in your life. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Is that right? Yes. Every time that you may be you may see yourself in a lion dance, and either you, you, you got in there because of the challenge in your life, all right, all right. because of your enemies, yeah. because of somebody that just don't like you. Yeah. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Somebody that just want to mind gonna tear you down. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. You may be in that lion dance because of somebody that just hit to see your presence. That's right. 
that you cannot stand even your smell. Well, Somebody shall say, Praise the Lord. Praise so the Lord. you got to read the accounts of Daniel yes. to know or to see for yourself the reason for which he went into the lion dance. King Kinduros identified Daniel as a man that had the spirit of God in him. Yes, yes. He had a, a, an excellent spirit in him. Mm -hmm. Daniel has said King Nebuchadnezzar. He has gone on to serve the son of King Nebuchadnezzar. Now King Nebuchadnezzar and his son are off the same. King Darius had taken over. Somebody said, Praise the Lord. And he continued to use Daniel because of Daniel's connection with God. Daniel's leadership. Daniel was a dream interpreter. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Daniel could hear from God and interpret your dream. He was not a dream killer, but he was a dream developer. Somebody shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. Every one of us that we need someone around us that will help us to develop our dreams. Right. You don't want no dream killers around you. Right. Somebody right. shall say hallelujah. hallelujah. You need to seek for friends that will help you to develop your dreams. Yeah. To develop that will be that will be in tools or a Excited about your dream. Yes, yes. Somebody shall say glory to God. Glory to God. That will be excited about your dream. That will be happy for your dream. Yes, yes. Somebody say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That will be appreciated of your dream. Yes, yes. You don't want people around you like Joseph brothering who wanted to kill his dream. So King Darius knew the power of development, the power of the wisdom of God. So he kept Daniel, he kept Daniel at the top, at the top of the leadership. But because of Daniel's association with the king, if you read the story, you will get to know that all of the white meat and those that he was working with, they were jealous of him. So they plotted against him. And they put documents together where they, which the king did not understand and he ended up signing it. And he ended up signing the death warrant of, 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 of Daniel, not knowing, not, hallelujah, not quite supposed to sign it, but he had to do it. Somebody said, praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. So as a result, when Daniel will not bow to the image that the king did, when Daniel will not carry on the decree of the king, the enemy, his enemies went to the king and told him, this man don't want to obey your order. Somebody said, praise the, praise the Lord. And the story goes on that Daniel was end up in the lion dance by the king decree. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. This is the man that the king had hired to help him to develop his government to carry on the works that God had blessed him with. But because of the jealousies of those that were around him, he ended up in the lion's dance. So we all here as human beings, we all here as adults. So let me emphatically tell you at this hour, not everybody around you happy for your dream. Not everybody around you will appreciate you as a man that has a dream. Is that right? Not everybody around you will embrace you because you are a dreamer. Somebody say glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody say praise, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now everybody around you, my goodness, you do not have to look outside of your comfort zone or outside of your personal space to find out who don't like your dreams. 
Sometimes your drink kills can be ready to ride in you. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Oh my goodness, sir. And that's why I, I all, every now and then, I try to lecture my boys. I say, be careful whom you receive gifts from. So, neighbor, be careful whom you receive gifts from. Is that right? Because you don't know their agenda. Because as long as you continue to receive gifts from you, get from them, they can elevate their gift to another thing. The gift to you could be a substance, substance or a drug or alcohol or cocaine that will mess you up because they know that you are a man of a man of dreams, a man that have good ideas. Because if they can kill your thinking capability, if they can kill your spirit, they can kill your dream. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. If they can kill your thinking ability, if they can find who the Lord talking to this morning, somebody say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They do not have to invite you to a nightclub uh, to kill your dream. Right. All they have to do, let them just give you a piece of cocaine. Let them, let them just give you a piece of crack. They don't know what they said this morning. Yes. If, 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 if you are one of those that that is weak on alcohol, let them start giving you alcohol. They can kill your thinking ability. They can kill, because when they kill your thinking ability, they take away your dreams. They took away your strength. They took away the what took, took away the, the power of Samson. Samson was giving something to drain. It took away his strength. Somebody said, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So now, 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 Daniel was in the lion den. There are few things that you can encounter in the lion den. But I want to just focus on one now, because this is an, a common experience, a common experience to you and I, to everybody. I want to just focus on one time is fast then. Maybe when the Lord leads me to preach this message another time, I will go into more. But one of the things that you can encounter in the lion dance is this. Silent treatments. Somebody says silent treatments. Silent treatment. Yes, yes, yes. Because remember, Daniel was in the lion dance. And God has shut the mouth of the lions. And the lion will not touch him. The lion will not devour him. But you will get to know that. That lion has some fleas with him. All right. All right. Hallelujah. There was some fleas that was in that lion dance. Although the lion was not, was not going after Daniel, you don't know how Daniel's sleep was in that dance. You don't know how many fleas that were walk, walking all on his body. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. You don't know how many spiders he was encountering in that dance. Somebody shall say hallelujah. You don't know how many creepy things that he was experiencing in that dance. And the lion could not understand the feeling of Daniel in that dance. The lion could not communicate with Daniel. Daniel could not communicate with the lion. Because there was no understanding between them. Somebody shall say, praise the Lord. So in the lion then you have sometimes, or many of the times, you will be treated with the silent treatments. Your mother don't know what you are going through. She don't understand how many demonic fight you are fighting. So she has nothing to say to you. All she can do to get keep silent and she'll shake her head. That do not understand how many demons crying in your head. Hallelujah. Your friend 
do not understand how many times your hair have been, have been falling out. Yes. Somebody shout and say, praise, praise the Lord. The silent treatment in the lion's den is one of the tedious, tedious experience in life. Because you are the only one that feeling the weight of the demons that are attacking you. You are the only one that feeding the craving, the craving for the drugs, the craving for the alcohol. Somebody shout, say, praise the Lord. Mama and daddy are trying their best to encourage you. But the, the, the demons are the, the fleas that, that, that are pressing upon you that is more tedious and more, and more powerful than you can, you can handle that. If there are women said this morning, somebody shouts say hallelujah. Say the The stone had been rolled out. So Daniel was in this lion den. And the stone had been rolled before his entrance. The, the entrance of the den, the stone had been rolled there and sealed. And he he had been locked in there all by himself. Is that right? The lion dance is the place where you can be locked yes. in by yourself. Nobody understands you. Nobody feel what you are feeling. Nobody feel the pain that you are going through. Nobody feel the frustration. Have you been there before? Is there anybody here that understands where we're going? Nobody feel your frustration. Somebody say, praise the Lord. They don't see the tear, but you are crying with me for them. Have you anybody been there before? They don't see the tear, but you are crying. You are crying heavily on the inside for hell because you are in the line of death. And all with you, yes. all the flee messing with your mind and with your body, yes. messing with your soccer, your soccer, your thinking capability. Some of the showers say hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. You may take a shower and and shampoo your body and grease your face, and, and your face may look bright and smooth. Hallelujah. No, come on, our faith will be bright and smooth, but there's war within. Say, neighbor, there's war within. Hallelujah. There's war going on within you because you are in the lion's den. Cry out for him. Lord, why am I going through this? Where did I fall short? What did I do to that sister? What did I do to that brother? What did I do? What did, did, I, did I do to deserve this? Somebody shall say hello. So the lion then experience, oh my goodness, is a place. It's a place where characters it's made of a man or of a woman. Somebody shall say hallelujah. Can I repeat that once again? Can I have a hug? They, 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 they lie of things experience can make characters of you. You will either hold your ground and stand on your faith and cry out the Joe, though he slay me, yet without trust him. Somebody shall say hallelujah. If you, if you read your scriptures, you will find out that, that Joe had a lion dance experience. Is that right? He said, God, though you slay me, yet without trust him. I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to quit, and I'm not going to fall. Somebody say, Lord, I'm not giving up. Lord, I'm not giving up. Uh, hallelujah. Say, Lord, 
with the head. I'm not getting up or not getting out. In the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. The lion dance a spirit there where real characters is made of you. Whether you will give up or whether you will get in. Hallelujah. One thing about days, let me give you a revelation. One thing about days when your, your lion dance experience is ordered by the Lord. The Lord will tell your enemy, touch not his life, touch not his life. Somebody said, Praise the Lord. When your when your line of dance experience is ordered by the Lord, He will tell the, the devil, "Don't touch the life. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm." Hallelujah! The God give you your life. The devil. Take it away. Witchcraft cannot take it away. Sorcerer cannot take it away. Drug cannot take it away. There are many that have died from cocaine, but you are still living. There are many that have died from using crack, but, they, but you are still living. There are many that have gone to the psychiatric ward for smoking marijuana, but you are still standing. When your lion dance and spirit come directly from God, He will preserve your life, even in the lion dance. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say, I shall live. I shall not die. I shall live and declare the words of the Lord. The lion dance and spirit. The lion dance and spirit. My goodness, thou order came from the Lord. God, you got to understand this children of God, God pressure people. You have to understand this. Every now and then you pray that God will order your step. But God will never tell you which direction that step is going to take you. Is that right? You pray to God to honor your step, but He will never tell you which direction you those steps will lead you. Those steps can lead you in the lion dance as well. The making of a man, the making of a woman. Say hallelujah. Woman of God can lead you even through the lion dance where you will experience some silent treatments. Silent treatment as the hours of loneliness. Another word is here. Silent treatments are hours of loneliness. Nobody understands what you're going through. Nobody understands the tears that you are shedding in your heart. Hallelujah. Nobody understands your weary hours of loneliness. Somebody say glory to God. Nobody understands your head. Oh, glory to God. Good Lord, talk to this morning. Nobody just understands. They would rather talk about you than to understand you. They would rather gossip about you than to seek to understand you. They would rather reject you than to seek to know about what you're going through. They would rather, my goodness, they would rather skeletal your name than to rather seek to help you. Refusing to give up or 
for God I live and for God I die. Though he slay me, yet would I trust him. Somebody say praise the Lord. Remember what the king said unto Daniel. This God that you serve continually, he will deliver you. This God that you serve continually, even in the lion dance, he will deliver you. Is that right? Come on, stand up and shake hands with three people. Say, man, this God that you serve continually, he will deliver you. Say hallelujah. Say 